The NBA is investigating tampering violations for the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat surrounding the Lonzo Ball and Kyle Lowry trades. Now, some people are upset because the Lakers are not included in this tampering investigation, even though a story came out that said that Russell Westbrook, way before free agency, met with LeBron, Anthony Davis, met with Laker players to discuss coming to the Lakers. And the tampering rules, it's crazy because in the rules it says that no owner, general manager, coach, scout, or player can try to persuade a person employed by another team to join the tampering team. But normally when it's players recruiting other players, they don't really do anything about it because it's kind of hard to prevent players from talking to other players. They're friends with each other. It's mainly about the organizations that aren't allowed to actually try to persuade them to join them. But in Lonzo Ball's situation, as soon as the deadline opened, free agency, right at 6 p.m., Lonzo agreed to go to the Bulls. So that's highly suspicious. Clearly, somebody talked to somebody to make that happen that fast. And then same thing with Kyle Lowry. Even before 6 p.m., there were reports everywhere that Lowry wanted to go to the Heat. So clearly, something was going on there. And this is what makes Le GM so good because he gets around the tampering rules because it's not the organization, it's him doing the recruiting player to player. Him and his friend Rich Paul, they're really taking the NBA by storm. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Should the Miami Heat and the Chicago Bulls, should they be in trouble for tampering with Kyle Lowry and Lonzo Ball? Remember, when the Milwaukee Bucks got caught tampering for Bogdanovich, that trade got voided and then he ended up going somewhere else. So what if that happens here? What if they say, hey, Lonzo can't go there. Lowry can't go there. That's what happened to the Bucks. They missed out because of tampering. So we'll see what happens here. If you get caught tampering, a contract could be voided. Team executives could get suspended. You could forfeit future draft picks. There's a lot of stuff that can happen if violations are proven. And even looking at the Lakers, when LeBron meets a player in private, remember, Draymond Green got fined for talking about Devin Booker when he said that he needed to leave the Suns because they were wasting his years. LeBron has been out in public. One time he said, give me Damian Lillard, and I'll show you how appreciated he'll be. He also talked about Luka Doncic. He talks about a lot of players in public. So where do you draw the line? If Draymond Green gets fined, in public talking about Devin Booker, how come LeBron doesn't get fined? That is what is igniting this debate about tampering, especially with players doing the recruiting. This is hilarious. This was more than an ankle breaker. This was an injury maker. That one's got me hyped. That one hurts. Why not show another half court three? I got so many of these, I gotta get rid of these. I gotta get rid of these highlights, baby.